Okay, I'm back in the Afigo room, and um, they were talking to me about how things improved over the weekend because they took out a power filter in the chain. Now they're going straight into the wall, really improve things. Uh, and what you were explaining is that your equipment, and sometimes people don't realize this, equipment sometimes is already immune to the benefits of a power conditioner, and actually when you insert it, you're actually putting two transformers in line or other things, coils that will end up negating some of the per performance and sabotaging the benefits. Um, but maybe yes, you that's can... that's a very good analogy. Yes. So what can happen, if you look closer at these uh, equipment, you will see that there's like an industrial grade power filter at the mains entry of our DAC and also at the amplifier. So there are coils and capacitors in there and if you basically draw a very fast pulse mm -hmm. through these filters, and there's another filter ahead of it, you get an energy exchange between the components in these two filters. And those could actually hurt more than that it solves. It's yes. almost like you have two captains on a ship yeah. trying to clean stuff up, and they each want to go a different direction. That's right. And so sometimes the power uh, filtering and... Uh, rectification all in the gear itself is already good enough, especially with amps it's in particular. It, yeah. yeah, it's exactly. already designed take to take care of the nasties already, so right. there's no real need. Actually, it hurts if you put another filter in front of it. And I'm glad you're bringing this up because I just experienced that firsthand with a demo that we did at another uh, facility tour where we used just a regular Home Depot when you were actually using a high-end one that brought uh, negative um, implications but i've seen it firsthand where you do not want sometimes to plug gear into power conditioners exactly and that doesn't mean that the power conditioner is bad right no if there's equipment that actually doesn't have any sorts of filtering in it then actually you will get good results from using a power conditioner but if there is already power conditioning in the equipment you do not want to use extra power filtering so in that case you actually rather plug straight into the wall or into a good power bar uh, rather than plugging it into a, uh, a power unit. Yeah, so that's as important as anything I've shown here in terms of music and all that because this is something I've learned firsthand over 30 years. You can't just assume. And if you read on a report online, oh, this guy had a good experience with XYZ power condition, doesn't mean that you will, depending on the gear. Mm -hmm. So Your talking to... Yes. Nice. yes. All right, so great lesson there. Appreciate it. I'll let y'all get back to uh, yeah, the music doing some music. Excellent. Okay, so thank you. Play some music. Okay. Let me, let me, let me.